sometimes be tossed around too lightly, as in someone who sings the game-winning basket or gets a last-second touchdown. But the word hero should be reserved for the people who fight and protect our country, someone like Brian Lyman. Brian was a combat engineer, and uh, his mission uh, in Afghanistan when in this deployment was to do route clearance, which was clear the road of IEDs or other roadside bombs, stuff like that so that they could, the infantry and the Afghanistan army could uh, come in behind them and actually do their job without getting hit with IEDs. Uh, my best memory of my brother and me would probably be playing basketball out back. Uh, we used to act like we were the high school phenoms and then play Duke together and we used to act like we were the star players on the Miami Heat. Uh, he was always a big Heat fan. He was really good at basketball and uh, we always used to go out back and act like we were just the hot shots of the NBA. Brian is the sixth of eight kids and uh, he has three older brothers, four older brothers, and three of his four older brothers were in the army. And uh, when they joined, uh, Chuck had joined first and then Brian was in seventh grade. And Brian from seventh grade on had a dead set that he wanted to go in the army. He wanted to follow after his brothers and serve his country. Uh, the funeral home that we that we uh, went through for Brian's uh, funeral and burial uh, created a slideshow video uh, celebrating Brian's life, and it's got pictures from uh, his all the way from his baby picture all the way up until uh, one of the last few pictures that was taken when uh, he was in Afghanistan. There's vi a video of the procession on Monday when he came home from the Gary Airport. Uh, last Monday, which there was a procession that went through his high school, Hammond Baptist. There's kids sitting outside with the American flags honoring Brian. And uh, there's the video goes through the wedding of him and his wife, and it goes through the engagement pictures with him and his wife. Uh, me and my brother AJ have already talked about it, and uh, we're getting matching tattoos in memory of Brian. And uh, my brother-in-law Keith has already got a tattoo. It's not going to be the matching tattoo, but it is a tattoo, and it says Brian Lenhart on it. And um, I'm, I myself, I have a cross that I had started making for Brian for his deployment in ceramic class. And when I found out about the news, the cross was only half complete. So I'm going to finish the cross and make it in memory of Brian. Sometimes we can take our lives for granted. But we have to remember the true heroes, the men and women fighting and sometimes tragically dying for our freedom each day, like Brian Leinhardt. Signing off for PNN, I'm Ian Stacks. It's been a long, hard ride, got a ways to go, but this is still the place that we all call home. It's been a long,